All right, everyone, welcome back to your Brigandine Guide for Light Armor for humans in the game of Brigandine, The Legend of Renarzia. So we're going to go over it today here. It's going to be quite a, a fun little journey we're going to take here. But uh, before we get into it, definitely, uh, you know, do a like or subscribe or something like that. Help the channel grow. Uh, it would help my channel grow quite well and would help other Brigandine players get a little better at the game as far as understanding what to do and what to equip and all that. So we're going to go ahead and put on this touch jacket. I think this is a bit of a mistranslation. I think the translation was supposed to be tough jacket like all the other tough gear in the game, but this one is touch, so we'll just call it touch here. So put this on here, and what does it do? It gives us 10 hit points and 3 evasion. So we're looking at uh, Largo here. He is a champion in this game here with uh, Rudo. So he's like a kind of a burly fighter kind of guy. If you're not used to that, it's basically just a just a big guy that works out and uh, champions do quite a lot of damage. And in this game, they love to run around the mountains. So he um, he would benefit from 10 more hit points and evasion here. I know this is one of the lowest pieces of gear you can get in a game, but we'll go over the whole thing here. So just so you can see this. And uh, before we get into this, let me mark. Let me mark something here just so you can kind of see the difference here. So if I can do this right. All right, here we go. So there are three tiered systems. There, there are three tier types of armor in the game. There is the white, the purple, and the gold tier. Okay, that's just what I have to basically tell you. All the stars basically just determine its rarity and all that. But um, let's go ahead and equip all the other pieces of gear and see what the differences are there. So we are going to put on the fine jacket. So hit points go down and defense defense goes up. So it looks like we're getting a little bit of defense here with the little green numbers there. And so that's actually pretty good. I would probably prefer the fine jacket over the tough jacket or the touch jacket, but it really depends on uh, a few things that could happen in a game. So it it's really comes down to your choice of preference. But I prefer defense over hit points for the most part, uh, unless you have like a a phoenix, then a phoenix would need more hit points, mostly, for just for its own self area heal or just own self healing properties. All right, so let's put on the heavy jacket here, and it's four defense and four HP. Probably better than the fine jacket in my opinion. I would have to say because it's defense and hit points, which can always be always be a benefit to you. Okay, so now let's look at the hunting jacket. There's a lot of white gear in here. <laughs> There's a lot of white gear, so we're going to have to get through some of this here. But uh, defense and evasion, this could be something maybe you want. If you've got a very low evasion tank, uh, this could raise your evasion by 5% and give you hit points. So this could be the thing you may, that you might actually prefer. So that could be a thing right there. Um, and then we come up to the steel jacket, which is really just 8 defense which in my mind kind of trumps everything else. I know that you could get some other benefits and all that, but always raising your defense puts you into the solid tank kind of class. Like uh, you become an uber tank. You're that much better at holding the front line. So if it's just one solid huge chunk of defense, I guess I have to kind of go with that over other things. But it depends upon what your leader does. If it is a treasure hunter, or you know a dancer or you know a champion or wh whatever their whatever their job is if they need more hit points for something then maybe you want to go with a hit point piece of gear here so so when we're looking at this light armor here this obviously this symbol here is the light armor i know we covered the heavy armor uh quite some time ago actually i i haven't been able to get back to this but now we're covering this we finished all of the all of the actual weaponry. So if you want to check out all the weaponry, it'll be on this particular guide list here. Go and check out the playlist uh, to check all that out. You'll see all the weaponry for it, but I'm also going to do armor as well. So I'll try to scatter them uh, together here. But we're just covering human armor right now. I think we can probably get through the rest of the human armor and then we'll move on to the monster armor uh, later. So, anyways, I know, um, 
talk about that a bit, but let's go up to the Black Breastplate. So this is on the next tier here, and if you're unfamiliar with this game in comparison to some other games, you're going to see this little green bar go up that says CP, that means combat power, and that's just the game's uh, determination as to whether this piece of armor is better or not. It also determines whether an enemy may attack you or not. The more armor you have, the more they might you know, second guess themselves if they're going to come out and attack you. Uh, so CP value does play into a big role as far as whether the enemy is going to attack you from their determination in the organized phase, okay? So that is a part of uh, what we're looking at here. But Black Breastplate, why is this... Why did my defense go down? Well, my defense went down because the other piece of gear that was white uh, had eight defense. This one only has five, but this one has five defense, three evasion, and a black dot, or a purple dot, an evil orb of defense. So you might think that the other gear is better, and it very well could be for you, honestly. You know, you have to make that choice. If you want to put on black defensive gear because you're going to be fighting a lot of uh, evil <clears throat> knights or monsters or whatever, just to give you one extra black dot to kind of defend against that, maybe you want to equip this piece of gear. This could be for you. Okay, so that's just something to uh, take note of here. Let's look at some other stuff here. So we did the black one. Let's look at the sacred breastplate. Pretty much the same stuff. Doesn't look like there's anything different except for instead of a black or purple orb, maybe I should call them purple orbs, you get a holy orb here. So if you want an extra white dot for your defense, there you go. You could put this piece of gear on and you would have it. So really nothing different as you can see on the right there is no change. No change at all except for having an extra orb. Okay. So pop that on. Really nothing changes. Okay, so let's look at the Thunder Breastplate and just like the white just like the white and the black orb there, really no change. Really no change at all. Defense, evasion, a green dot instead of the black dot. We're just looking at adding an extra defensive orb here. Now, I know this doesn't really look as promising, but that's basically what some of these pieces of gear do. Some some gear just really just change one element, and they might not do a whole lot of other things. So there could be an instance where you might want the steel jacket over these pieces of gear because maybe you just don't care about the elemental uh, defense bonus. So let's look at the ice breastplate. Pretty much the same thing too. Uh, exact same thing. Evasion, defense of five, except for it's a blue dot. So you're just looking at colors here. And crimson, pretty much the same stuff. So we don't have to go and equip it. We just know it's going to be that way. And we're just going to gain one extra orb of whatever color that this one determines. And pretty much when you look at this, if it says black, it's going to be black. It says thunder, it's going to be green, ice, blue, crimson, red. <laughs> it kind of goes that way. So what does the iron breastplate do? This might be more defense. I don't know. No, no. It really just doesn't give you an orb. It gives you, instead of 3% evasion, it gives you 10% evasion. And it doesn't give you a elemental orb for defense of any kind. So this one is probably the best, I would have to say, but it really depends on your situation. If you're going up against a whole lot of evil elemental stuff, you might want the black orb. Or if you're going up against a bunch of angels, you might want the white, uh, the holy uh, breastplate. So it really comes down to like what you feel you're going up against and whether you want to micromanage it. If you don't want to micromanage it too much and you find the iron breastplate, great. You're in luck. You don't have to think about anything. Just put it on and you're good to go. Okay, so that covers all the purple gear. We covered all the white gear. And uh, we'll go ahead and check out some of this other stuff here. So we've got all these all these gold pieces here. I'll call them gold. You could call it yellow if you want. Um, yes, I'm a Packer fan, so I, you know, we, we tend to do that. So I'm going to put on this freedom mantle here. See what the difference here. You can see the right side of my screen lighting up with hit points and defense. Let's see what, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, wowie, wowie. This is one of the best, honest, honest to, uh, to God, one of the best pieces of gear you can get in the game. And 
Let me just break this down for you for a minute here. Now you're going to get two defensive orbs of green attached to your character. So if you're fighting a bunch of things that are red, you might want to be careful. You might want to be careful of fighting Eliza, the ruler of Grimol, with this kind of defense here. But you do get a plus 15 bonus of defense, plus 20 hit points. Very, very, very good. Evasion, a plus 10%. Critical rate of 10% and critical damage of 10%. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this, the terminology here, critical rate means it's adding to your percentage to get a critical hit to land. So if you have a 10% chance to hit, uh, uh, to um, do critical damage on the enemy, now you just increase that to 20%. So now you have 20% chance to hit the enemy with a critical hit. Now, when you hit them with a critical hit, you also do 10% more critical damage. So the Freedom Mantle may be one of the best pieces of gear in the game for the light armor for humans. Now, let's check out the other stats. Maybe you think I'm wrong. That's totally fine. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And I'd love to hear your opinion of this. But uh, let's go ahead and look at the other gears that we do have here. We have the champion medal, which is next, which is double white orbs or defense, right? We got 15 hit points, not as juicy as uh, the other one there. Or I think it's the same, is it the same? No, no, it's not the same. Defense of 15, defense stays the same, evasion of five. Uh, okay, we'll put on the champion medal, but I'm not as happy as the freedom medal. Now this piece of gear, the champion medal could be good if you are defending against Rudo or Talia or any paladin-like kind of character. This could be good for you because extra white defense against those guys or, or girls or whatever, you know, attacking you very, very heavily uh, could prevent damage from uh, clean military rule or anything Rudo has to offer. <laughs> um, okay, ancient... Do we look at this one? No, we didn't look at... Okay, the Stealth Mantle here. It's uh, a little bit different. Defense not as high, not as heavy. That's why our defense is going down here. But we got Black Orbs. So this would be a good one if you're going up against a ruler fight against, uh, let's say, Tim or Stella. So the defense does come down, but with the extra Black Orbs, that would actually help you out in that kind of a fight. Uh, 30 HP, quite good. I like it. Evasion plus 7, quite nice. So it's got some, you know, good stats to it. I like the stats, they're pretty nice. But um, really depends on your situation, how you feel as far as how you're going to stack your knight, right? All right, let's look at the, um, yeah, we just looked at that one. Let's look at the ancient breastplate here. So ancient really just means water for the most part in this game. So we're looking at, we're looking at MP plus, if I could draw right, there we go, okay. <laughs> um, I'm using my couch to draw <laughs> it's not as not as good but uh, with, the, with it, it's interesting how they give you a little bit of different variations with some of the color orbs here right we had plus 7 now we're at a plus 10 water apparently gives you more evasion and MP uh, you get a bonus of 7 Hit points 15, quite, I'd have to say quite a solid piece of gear overall. Ancient Breastplate is quite good. Uh, evasion plus 10%. Blue Orbs are great. The only thing that can take you down are really just Centaurs. Um, centaurs and Mandrakes, that's about it. So Ancient Breastplate could be quite a very good piece of gear. Uh, possibly, possibly as good as the Freedom mantle but still I don't know all right the swift mantle okay let's put this one on here okay let's check this out so we've got green orbs just like the freedom mantle right we got defense we got HP we've got agility which is great and accuracy and evasion so agility plus accuracy and evasion this will turn you into an evasion tank so swift mantle lives up to its name turning you into an invasion tank. So if you want to be more evasive, you want to dodge like crazy, that's kind of what you want to do, okay? So I think my controller's on the fritz. I don't know why. Uh, a 
but anyways this one uh pretty good so i'd have to say probably my favorites are going to be uh, my, my favorites are going to be the swift the ancient and the freedom mantle but as we can see with the freedom mantle evasion critical rate which means critical chance to do a crit and then critical damage on top of that. This could be one of the best pieces of gear, especially for a swords master, a sword master or a swordsman to be able to do some of their extra crit damage. Attaching it to that would be fantastic. So really that comes down to the end of it here. There's really nothing more I can really tell you about the light armor gear. So that'll pretty much conclude the video. Uh, so I hope everybody, you know, enjoyed the video here and all that. Definitely leave a like or a subscribe to help the channel grow. But as a bonus, I'm going to show you what it looks like to have a all-star set bonus. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're going to show you the first all-star bonus. And this will just be kind of a random thing here too. So uh, if you want to pause the video at any point in time just to see, you know, what the bonus looks like, definitely go ahead and do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Check out the stats on the right. Boom. Down. Up. Boom. All-star bonus of one star. Okay. So if you want to go back and pause the video, you'll see how much the stats go up and down. There are some differentiating, differentiating uh, numbers that will be uh, included with some of the gears that are here because some gears might give extra hit points or whatever but uh, that's basically what basically what the all-star bonus looks like okay so let's go ahead and check out the number two all-star bonus so with two stars let's see what that looks like let's put on lightning knuckles or maybe curse knuckles yeah put on the curse knuckles here We'll put on the uh, Crimson Breastplate. Sacred Gauntlets. Let's vary it up a little bit. All right, go ahead and pause, pause the video when you can. Boom. Now this changes preference to water because these are flippers. So flippers are what's doing that. So never mind that. Um, but go ahead and pause the video just so you can see what the, all the stats are. Usually it goes about, f I think it's 5, 7, 10 for most stats that go up. Attack, strength, agility, defense, intelligence, and um, mobility typically doesn't go up. But you, you need certain types of gear for that. Okay, so let's check out the three-star bonus here and see what this does. Okay. Okay, air hat fists. These things are really, really wickedly good. I love them. But I'll put on the Inferno Fist just to show a little bit more of a normal thing here. Let's do the Ancient Breastplates. Let's do Obsidian and check this out. Boom. All right, so pause the video and then uh, turn it back on and then you'll get to see uh, what the stats are like. And you can go calculate them all in your head and uh, all that. You can see how good this stuff is. You can get a lot of... A lot of good things by having a full set. So the full sets of all the same colors gives you this all-star bonus right here. And uh, it increases the value of your knight or monster, you know, two times, three times fold. But uh, all right, everybody. Thanks so much for coming by. Uh, tomorrow we are going to get into... Let's see here. What are we going to get into? Let me um, clear this out here. And we'll go back and uh, just want to look at this real fast just to make sure I'm doing the right thing. So we did the heavy armor before. That might have even been a year ago. We're doing the light armor here. And next up we are going to do the light robes. Okay. I'm just going to call it light robes. And that, that'll pretty much finish it for the human side here. So that's what we'll do tomorrow. We'll get into that. So thanks everybody for coming by. Uh, leave your comments down below as to what kind of what kind of gear setups you actually do. I'd like to hear it. It'd be cool for you to tell me uh, what you preferably like because, you know, it'd be awesome to know. What do you think is the best kind of setup? Okay, anyways, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for coming by.